it's coming from right up in there somewhere. Yeah, I was scraping on the mini and all of a sudden I heard a noise. I was like, you, I was like could you, you could hear it over the mini then? Yeah, the mini's a lot quieter than those, and I'm in an open cab. But I was like, what is it? And I looked up and I was like, oh, there it is. Why the hell is beeping? Beeping hydraulic bulb, but the side glass is dead in the middle So the first part of this video you seen was filmed on Saturday and this is the following Tuesday. So you can see there's not a lot left of the old building now, the dorm. Just gonna show you a side view of it here. Let's move around over here on the other side. I got a great old big power line. I got the drone right up against. I don't want it to go nuts. There we go. The dust is going opposite the drone now too, so that's even better. zoom in on here I have some questions about that uh, 750 high reach that was at uh, the con expo want to know the size comparison of it dang it the dust holy cow ah, he's knocking that thing I see what's going on now yeah compared to I'll just bury with me a little bit here. Boy, he needs his HKD. Dang. It's a good bit of size difference between that 750 and that one right there. That machine that Brian's running right there weighs around 165,000. It's a purpose-built Caterpillar. It's that 345CL. Got a I believe that's the uh, letters on the back of it, CL. But it's got a, uh, it's got a twenty-six thousand pound counterweight on it, compared to a normal three forty-five. It's got a uh, nineteen thousand pounds. You got a lot larger undercarriage up under too. So the specs on that 750, that thing was rated at 190 something thousand up to 221,000 pounds, I believe. So a good bit of difference. He is pounding that thing. I'm gonna tell y'all what, that thing, that, that tool, hell that four fell. All I say is that daggum shear is tough. <laughs> I mean, let's go back this way, man. Let's see here. Now the dust is going over there. I don't need to hit this power line over here. Now, let's see here. Hmm. I mean, he is hitting that thing.
It's about to fall. Look at the bricks come off the side of it. I'd love to get in a good spot, but the dust is so bad. Dude, I don't know if y'all can see that or not, but there was probably 500 birds just come out of that thing right there. Ah. Hmm. I guess he's waiting on the dust to settle now, I guess. One thing about it, when you when you watch how somebody runs something that belongs to them and you see how they run it, well, you think, well, or at least I do, I think, well, I can get away with a little bit more than what I thought I could. Hey, you getting that heater out of there and pulling it out. That was a heavy chunk of concrete. The ground shook over here where I'm standing at when the thing hit right there. That's a cool shot right there. What is strip? You just you can see the magnitude of the reach in that in that shot right here. Look at that. Tell me that machine ain't strong, son. Pull it. Bite on it. That's what you call hanging by a thread right there. <laughs> oh, he got that, he got that piece of angle iron now. Maybe he can grab a hold of it and pull it. You tell me that rebar ain't tough. There it goes. Almost. 
you could you could get yourself in trouble on that machine right there real quick because you get to fighting something like that and you know you you get focused up on it you got it Kind of forget where you're sitting at and push a little too far. They don't like much. That old building's just about to give up the old ghost there, as they say. Hey, come over here. I'm actually recording right now. You can see. I'm kind of flying back to it. It's actually listening. To, it's actually, this will be in the video, what I'm saying right now. Oh, yeah. You can see Brian and Bubba's over there. You from down there around Canton also? Or? Yes, sir. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna send it on up here. It's not far from us right now. So that's what it looks like. It's the whole building right there in a the pile right there. That's how, that whole five story building. Y'all gonna start hauling it tomorrow, right? Yes, yeah, sir. Uh -huh. You gonna be here Saturday too? or? Uh, I don't know. Probably not. Don't That's it right there. The other buildings done been hauled off. Everything's gone from it except for the footings down in the bottom down there. I mean, y'all probably start digging them out next week, won't you? Yeah, I would imagine. Yeah. Now we got to munch those uh, walls down around the corner. Around the side right there. Right there. Uh -huh. So y'all just munch them down till you get down the fittings and then and then get up under with the bucket and pop them out. Okay. Yeah, I got you. So you got the digging stick put back on it there with the bucket. I was not here when they swapped it out. The uh, high reach is on this trailer right here. You get this trailer kind of rigged up to hold the high reach perfectly. Hey, I'm gonna test it and make sure everything's right on it here. I'll show you how he's got this trailer done here. He's got it fixed to where you can pull right up behind it with the machine and set the boom, set the boom right down on it. And unconnect, take the pins out of it right here. bunch of their wrenches right here. That one didn't survive right there.
See the shirt he's got on there. That was on the ground over there. That one didn't survive right there. Okay, I got another one. <laughs> Just chasing him with my cell phone on there. So they're gonna start hauling it. They'll start hauling this stuff out uh, tomorrow. They're gonna run through the weekend too. This is the entire building that I'm standing on top of too, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> 